Hello. What I want to do here is find the value of i to any power. For instance, i squared, i to the fifth, i to the eighth. I want to have a, a nice way of finding i to any power. And in order to do that, I'm going to use something called the i circle. So this is a great note to write down before you take any big major test like the SAT or ACT, there's, there's probably going to be an, an I problem involved. So I'm going to say that this is I to the first, I to the second, I to the third, and I to the fourth. And that's as far as I need to go. If I can find those values, I can find I to any power. Here's the deal. I to the first, well, I'm sorry, not much happens. That's going to be I. And I don't know if you heard about this, but I squared, that equals negative 1. Some people like to look at it as the square root of negative 1 squared, which equals negative 1, because the square eliminates the radical. I don't like looking at it like that. I prefer this to be my definition of I versus the normal textbook version of i equals the square root of negative 1. I don't even want to write it down. But we can all agree that i squared equals negative 1. So now I have i to the first is i, i squared is negative 1. Well, i to the third, that's going to be i to the first times i to the second. So that's going to give me i times negative 1. So i to the third equals negative i. Go figure. So that's negative i. Now I'd like to know what i to the fourth is. Well, i to the fourth is i squared times i squared. Let me see. i squared is negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. So i to the fourth is going to equal positive 1. And that's it. If you have that, you can answer any type of question that involves i to any power. So i to the second, i to the first, i to the second, i to the second equals negative 1. What about i to the fifth? Here it goes. I to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I to the fifth is equivalent to I. Let's see. I to the eighth. I to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I to the eighth is equivalent to one. Uh-oh, a tricky one. I to the negative fourth. Well, i to the negative fourth, isn't that 1 over i to the fourth? Isn't that 1 over i to the fourth? Negative exponent, bad attitude, you send them downstairs. So let's see what 1 over i to the fourth is. i to the first, second, third, fourth, so that's going to be 1 over 1. That equals 1. How about i to the negative sixth? Well, i to the negative sixth, that can be rewritten as 1 over i to the sixth. So that's going to give me i to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So i to the sixth is negative 1. This is going to be rewritten as 1 over negative 1 equals negative 1. Pretty quick. Thank you.